What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler. And JJ, this video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. The storm clouds had gathered at Clark Field. A showdown of unbeaten teams, Dominguez Dons, St. Anthony Saints. Uh, we're at Clark Field, the beautiful new Clark Field. St. Anthony coming in. 2-0 after a couple of lopsided wins. Junior Jojo Apasala has been a monster on the ground. He had 256 yards and four touchdowns last week. They are facing a Dominguez Don squad who's also coming in at 2-0 with a bunch of talent on the roster. Yeah, and the Saints going to be without head coach Raul Lara in this game, who was ejected last week, arguing questionable officiating. Rudy Cambero and Dennis Budd taking over as interim head coaches. St. Anthony starting well on their first drive. Adrian Perez going to hit Christian Martin for the first down as he is in to Don's territory. So a good start in the passing game, and we mentioned they like to do it on the ground. Yeah, and then Apisala with the 16-yard run up the gut. Saints looking good, feeling good. However, <laughs> Thank you. Caleb McCutcheon and the Dons defense toughened up and would stop that drive in the backfield. And then when the Dons got it, they took to the air. Mikaele Fitu Akui and Jacory Watson are going to link up for the big gain right there. Then the Dons trying to punch it in near the goal line, but the Saints D holding strong, forcing a third and goal at the one. They try to go fast, but sometimes that leads to mistakes. That's a false start. Don's backed up, and now they're going to be forced to try to throw it, JJ. Yeah, you're not supposed to tell anybody else what you're, the family is thinking if you're a Don, <laughs> and uh, you were thinking going early there, so that's a turnover on downs. Saints bend, but they don't break. But the St. Anthony offense was stuck in neutral. They just had 34 yards of offense on their last five drives combined in that first half. Couldn't get anything going. And then when they were forced to f punt, a familiar face it's hey. going to do some damage. That is Long Beach Poly transfer Timmy Tuiagamoa <laughs> with a nice return down to the St. Anthony 14-yard line. Uh, definite spark plug for this team. More from him later. And on that drive on third and six from the 10, Raymond Gomez going to be called for a dead ball late hit here. Uh, that's a tough call. That is a very tough call. Kind of just looked like he was playing football, Tyler. Uh, I got that too. Uh, then McCutcheon is going to punch in a short touchdown to put the Dons on the board. It is 7-0, less than three minutes into the second quarter. Then Josiah Lolesio Pua trying to get something started for St. Anthony. Bulldozes oh. the defender on this kickoff return, getting out near midfield. Yeah, that was definitely a shot in the arm for the sideline. Then on the very next play, JLP in the passing game. That's a 15-yard gain, so the momentum is going. But on the next play, Ugh. oof. Yeah, this one, uh, the Don's making sure that drive sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the bubbles are rising there. This one's going to go 61 yards to the house as the Don's going to double the lead. It is 14-0 in a flash. They definitely kept the pressure on. This one gonna go for 33 yards. Skyden Bobo there making the catch, JJ. What a cool name. That is. that is a cool name. I got thrown out just because I didn't realize that that was actually someone's name. <laughs> then Fitu Akui is gonna punch it in from a yard out to make it 20 to nothing Dominguez. And though they did have some nice runs in this game, the St. Anthony rushing attack wasn't how it's been the first two weeks. Credit to the Don's defense. Just 25 carries for 100 yards uh, for the Saints on the ground. Don's trying to add more points before halftime. Elijah Lola Siopua oh. with a nice suplex. Dude, two <laughs> points for the takedown right there. Then on fourth and 13, looking for T -T -T Timmy. He's going to find him. 26 yard score. That is a backbreaker for St. Anthony and Timmy on a business trip to Long Beach. Yeah. Taking care of it. It was booming in the first half for Dominguez as they're up 27 0. Saints need something to happen at the start of the second half. It's an onside kick. Great call. Great execution, and there is purple at the bottom of that pile. St. Anthony gets the shot of life that they desperately needed to start the second half. I heard you predicted that, Tyler. You know, I thought maybe it was a good idea. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, when you're right, you're right. JJ, I don't know what to tell you. It was then a successful drive for St. Anthony. JoJo with the lead block from Gomez getting into the red zone. Then later in the drive, it's going to be Apasala following his blocks in for the score. But hold on take those points off the board. There were two personal fouls, one called during the play, one after the play. So now first and goal at the 32. Ugh. St. Anthony says, fine, we'll just score again. Oh. Perez with a dime to Josiah Lolesio Pua for six. Whee! And he's going to hit the Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> the Saints are officially on the board. 27-7, and they got time. At that point, momentum was kind of wearing purple. Uh, I mean, yeah, Violet at best. Uh, <laughs> freshman uh, Raymond Umi in there for the sacks, so the ball is back to the Saints. Here we go. 
but the turnover bug bit the Saints in that third quarter. Watson with a very nice play to recover and get the interception there. Then after the Saints defense gets another stop, a muffed punt is gonna set up the Dons with great field position. These miscues just didn't allow the Saints to sustain a comeback. They played better in the second half, but those are just backbreakers. Then the Dons gonna capitalize fourth and 12 on the 27. That is not what you want if you're a Saints fan. Yeah, Bobo up the seam for the score. That's the second touchdown on fourth and long for Dominguez in this game as they're up 34-7. But the Saints did not roll over. They rolled out, in fact, as AP is going to hit Andres Mendoza. Great throw and catch. Dot. Yeah, 52-yard grab there. Mendoza had three catches for 103 yards, all coming in that second half. Then later in the drive on fourth down, the Saints going to punch in another one. AP keeps it himself, and he's going to go untouched for 24 yards to the purple pay dirt. As St. Anthony, as I mentioned, won the second half, definitely played better after the break, but too many mistakes to beat a good football team as Dominguez moves to 3-0. These are both good football teams, and the Saints are going to have another challenge next week as they hit the road and visit Salesian. For all of that and everything else, Long Beach football, you keep it right here at the 562.org.